Here we go. Quadfather wants to know, what causes increasing drift in angle mode? A power cycle the flight controller, it's solid for the remainder of the pack. Happens on two quads with different flight controllers. Okay, so beta flight has an issue. And I don't know whether it's beta flight's fault or the flight controller's fault. I think it's beta flight's fault. On, but but what, well, the reason I'm not sure is that this issue only happens on some flight controllers and not others. So maybe it's the flight controller's fault. And the way the issue manifests is if you're in auto level mode, the quad starts out level and then slowly tilts more and more to the left or more and more to the right. Quick Flash says it's Beta Flight's fault. Do tell. Do tell. Quick Flash, in case you don't know, is the EMU Flight lead developer. Quicksilver doesn't have it. Yeah. Quicksilver isn't on as many flight controllers, though, is it? Quick Flash. It's due to accelerometer drift. Right. So the way it manifests is when you first power up, the accelerometer is correct, and then slowly over the course of the pack, it drifts to the left or drifts to the right, drifts forward or drifts backwards. But the question is, why does it happen only on certain flight controllers? And I don't just mean like a specific flight controller. I mean, like, like a specific model of flight controller. I mean, like you'll have five quads all with the same flight controller and two of them will have the problem and three of them won't. There are various things you can try to do to fix it and none of them work reliably. <laughs> but that's what it is. So Quadfather, here's the thing. Uh, Lewis Lewis, it's not a trim problem because it gets worse over time. If you trim it, you would just have to keep trimming it over the course of the pack more and more and more. Unfortunately, there isn't a fix other than to replace your flight controller or not use angle mode. That's the problem. Like, there are things people have tried to do, like setting the accelerometer low pass to one hertz. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. There's no reliable fix. And so unfortunately, Quadfather, I can't tell you, here's what you need to do when that happens. If it happens, you basically just don't fly angle mode on that quad or replace the flight controller. I wish I had a better answer. Quick flash, is there a better answer? Um, FPJV, the reason the short stopper didn't pick up the short circuit is that the short circuit was on the five volt rail. So five volts was being shorted to ground. The five volt regulator basically shut down when it detected this. And the amount of current that the five volt regulator can supply is so small that it wasn't tripping your short saver.